talking while this pussy run his mouth. Pillow talking with your bitch, okay, but leave me at your mouth. Been in Cali for a minute, but a nigga from the south. Stay at his grandma's house, I guess we meet his grandma now. Where's that? What up, hey. my boy? What it? What's no, I up? see you cleaning the IMG. What? You know what I'm huh? saying? You know what I'm saying? Chilling. See you, Boulder. Huh? Yes, yeah, sir. You already know. Buffalo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. okay. Hey, good to have you on here, bro. For real. For everybody watching this, if you don't know who Winston Watkins Jr. is, you tripping. Okay, uh -huh. it's my boy right here from IMG Academy. How you feeling, bro? I'm feeling great, you know what I'm saying? Just blessed. Yeah, I already know. Colorado. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Go Bucks. You a, you a Buffalo now, dog. How that yes, feel? Sir. I feel amazing, you know what I'm saying? Can't wait to change the program around, you know what I'm saying? They need they need somebody like Deion. Yeah. You know? Need somebody like Deion, need somebody like you. You already know. Finna go yeah. turn it up. Already, man. So so y'all done with the season now, right? Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? We just finished our season like two or three weeks ago. Okay, how'd that go? Did y'all do y'all have state? I know y'all uh, nah, we they don't let us play play for playoffs because they know we're gonna win it every They don't let y'all play playoffs, bro. Nah, we can't play playoffs or states, none of that. We got only regular season. Oh, that's hate because y'all y'all were undefeated, right? Yeah, uh, we lost one game in first week in first game. We we you know what I'm saying, new coach, new everything. We lost by yeah. Man, how many D1 commits y'all got? Like D1 players, y'all. It's the whole team. Yeah. Pretty <laughs> yeah. That's crazy, bro. IMG. How long has IMG Academy been around? Shoot. Football wise, uh, I'd say like 10 to 15 years. Uh, mm. IMG wise, probably like 100 years. Tennis for tennis. You know, Serena Williams uh, and everything. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know yeah, that. Serena, I saw, Williams, I saw... Serena, Serena Williams was at IMG before she went. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so that was IMG because I saw the movie. Uh, yeah, she's IMG. Yeah, I didn't know they didn't say the name of nothing. I didn't even yeah, know. Yeah, didn't. But when they said bring it to Florida, that was here. Okay, okay, yeah. that makes sense. That makes sense. What was her coach name? Is he still there? Uh, I don't remember. I just know. I just know that she was here. Then. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up, man. So, hey, how how the season go? Who that is, man? That boy ugly. That boy <laughs> ugly, boy. <laughs> what's up with it, man? Oh, Tell him I'm the quarterback. Now, you know, oh, you, oh, oh, you the QB? QB? Oh, what's, yeah, what's yeah. your name, bro? What's your name? Nino. Nino. Okay, Nino. Nino Brown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. So, look. How, how was the season, man? How you do, man? How many TDs you scored? Uh, it was great. You know what I'm saying? We finished off with a great season. We got a, a great win over the number two team in the nation, St. Francis. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I scored one time in that game. I had a pick, but you know what I'm saying? I played. You had a pick? Oh, Lord! Yeah, I almost had a pick. I fell hit the, front, hit, uh, hit the ground. Well, you was playing defense, too? Yeah, I play everything, no kid return. I told you. You know what I'm saying? Man, you gotta send me some defensive highlights too. I only seen the offensive one. Oh yeah, for sure. I got yeah. I got a few of those. Yeah, bro. Your offensive yeah. highlights, I like them, but it just, bro, honestly, I'll be I'll be wanting you to shake like five people, but it looks so easy because you just catch it and just I'll be trying to I will be trying to do crazy stuff, but it never like seemed to happen for me. Like I'll be trying to one hand on people and stuff. Yeah. But you know you know when you get them one pass where it's like you gotta catch it two hands, so you can't do the one hand. Yeah, yeah, you just like you just yeah. like, I'll be I'm trying to I'll be trying to do crazy stuff though for sure. Yeah, you might. And this seven on seven season though, we finna see some crazy stuff. Crazy. I was seeing crazy stuff last week. Everybody, listen at OT seven. Okay, I knew about you before OT seven. That's when I really like laid eyes on you for the first time. Yeah. I was playing for C one N Cam's team. Mm -hmm. Tell yeah. tell everybody how that how that came about. You playing for C one N? Really? Uh, I say like seventh or eighth grade year. I was playing high school and okay. Cam knew and seen seen me or whatever. And he had an office coordinator and he hit me up on Twitter and was like, "You trying to play for Cam?" Yeah. And the whole time I'm thinking is like, "Whoa, this like this got to be a fake Twitter or something." Because he asked me to play for Cam Newen, so I didn't believe it. And then Cam Newen texted me on Instagram like a couple of days later and was like, "Hey, slide to my team." Yeah. So then I I went to the tryouts. Went crazy. You already know, do what I do. Yeah. And he told me to come play with the team. So then I was like 13 or 14 and I was playing on the 15 team mm -hmm. with them. Mm -hmm. And I was starting that slot, and I was going crazy. And then, you know what I'm saying? Since then, I've just been connected with Cam. Yeah, bro. Uh, young, I mean, you you still young. You 16, right? 15. <laughs> and you run a 4-3? Oh, man. Hey, hey, you got it, bro. 15, sophomore? Yes, sir, sophomore. Sophomore doing your thing. Bro, that's a, that's a good look, man. And now, now you're a Buffalo. So tell me what it's like at IMG during the football season. Dude, really, it's just grinding, you know what I'm saying? We got practice in the morning. Then we'll go, to, like, get some breakfast or whatever. Then go to uh, lift the weights. It's kind of like college, really. Then we go lift weights. And then after we done lifting weights, we get, like, these little shakes, drink our shakes. Yeah. Then we go take a shower. Head to so they, they run that like a like a college football yeah, program. Yeah, it's, it's like, it's kinda, yeah. It's kind of like college. So, like, when you get to college, it's like the same thing. So you already prepare, really. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, then after we drink the shakes, we go back to our rooms, take showers, do what we got to do or whatever. Probably go eat. 
Then we'll go to school. Mm-hmm. After school, we'll just kind of study hall or whatever, and we'll be chilling. And the rest of the day, we just got to ditch ourselves. School over at like 520. Yeah. So y'all already prepared, bro. That's why so many dudes from IMG, when they get to college, they just starting from like day one because they're already <laughs> used to getting up early. Because, you know, at college, you there in the morning all the way to the night. So y'all just already ready for that. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Getting us prepared. Okay. That's what's up. So you going to Colorado. All right. First, tell me this. Why Colorado? Although I already know the answer, but why Colorado? <laughs> Deion Sanders. Deion you know Sanders. Saying, you know what I'm saying? He's from the same city as me. Yeah. Uh, as a kid, I always Fort, looked Fort Myers. Me. Yep. Yeah. My nickname My nickname as a kid back in my city was Primetime. So they used to call me Winston Primetime Watkins Jr. Because mm. of Deion, you know what I'm saying? And I really like he a big inspiration to me. Yeah. So I was like, I was like, if he go, I told my dad one day, I was like, if he go D one, I'm definitely. It's a wrap. Yeah, it's you know what I'm saying. I don't care where it is, but yeah, yeah, D1, I'm gonna do it. Yeah. So then I talked to my dad yesterday, and I was like, you know what I'm saying, you see where he's going or whatever, so we can see what we're gonna do. We can do it cracking. Okay, already, already. Yeah, man, I, th- I think that's a real good look, bro. I mean, he really finna turn bold around. I know they didn't have the best season this year, but you saw what he did at JSU. It's like, why can't he do that at the D1 level? Uh, something about Coach Prime. Y'all know Coach Prime. That's that's my dog, bro. I look up to Coach mm-hmm. Prime. And being around him, bro, his energy is infectious. It's like if he if he tell you to come there, you got to go. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And, and so, there's no there's no go, excuses bro. now. You got the you yeah. got the program, you got the budget, mm-hmm. you you got everything you need to succeed. And, and and besides you being an elite athlete that you are. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You, you, yeah, you still sure, got yeah. two years of, of high school. By the time them two years gone, that, that program going to be up. It's going to be already right. And I'm going to have more people come with me. And you know what I'm saying? We're going to do what they do. We're going to have best players in my class. We're just going to take over. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You know, you know, everybody don't got to always go to Bama or Ohio State all that. You know what I'm saying? You can create one of those. Work. And that's why I respect Sammy, my cousin, so much. Sammy Watkins, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He went to that's country. right. He started, hey. he started every- the winning, winning program. Yeah, that's right. Everybody, Sammy Watkins. It's Winston Watkins, older. Well, they got the same last name, but still, sometimes people got the same last name, like cousin. But that's your older cousin, and it makes sense because y'all fast as hell, for real. <laughs> Sammy was a dog at Clemson. Where, where's that's Sammy at right now? Sammy, uh, he played for Green Bay. Oh, but yo, that's Green what Bay? I'm saying, though. Sammy, Sammy went to Clemson. Clemson was not winning before he went there. He went there not even winning team, and they considered one of the best teams in college football now. That's I'm trying true. to get with Colorado. Yeah, yeah, facts, facts. So mm-hmm. you already know, bro. I, I believe Deion finna turn this thing around. The question yes, is, how much do you believe that Dion finna turn this thing around? Oh, I definitely believe. I'm 100% uh, bought into it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel like once Dion get there this year, you know what I'm saying, he's going to get everything settled in, you know what I'm saying, do what he do. Yeah. And then just same thing he did at JSU, he's going to do it again at the D1 level. Yeah. And, you know what I'm saying? I still got two more years, so then I'm going to just wait for him to do what he got to do. I'm going to help him get his peoples in who he need. Mm-hmm. And then when I get in there, it's over with. We going, we went in the natty. We went yeah. in the whole time. But that's one thing about recruiting that ripple effect, bro. Because because you 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 at the top of the top when it comes to receivers, right? So when other receivers see you, they like, oh shit, okay, now I want to go there. Corners, yeah. linebackers, especially quarterbacks. I know them quarterbacks gonna be in there. You know uh, yeah, they, they, they hit me up already. Yep, because Shador Shador is sophomore. Yeah, he's yep. a sophomore. So in two years, he'll probably still be there. If he not, you know, that quarterback room gonna be stacked anyway. So y'all gonna be good out of the way. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Best believe. Best believe. When I go there, there's gonna be somebody coming with me. I'm it's gonna be three four. Y'all, I'm telling you, the court we're gonna be stacked, bro. You know how it is. Y'all gonna be the new Bama, but better. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Of course. It's, yeah. it's gonna have it's gonna have more flavor. You know, like I said, Dion's attitude is just is just infectious, bro. Like I met a lot of dudes, man. It's never really met somebody like Dion though. So it's it's, yeah. it's great to be around. Sure. All right. So listen, you cold at football, man. The question is. When did you know? When did you realize how good you were at football? Did you shake somebody? Did you break them off? Did they, you know, did you hit a oh lot? When did you know? <laughs> really, and shoot, really what it was was I say when I was like three or four, I got a cousin that's from Fort Myers. Yeah. yeah. So like, you know what I'm saying? Me and him used to like play in front of my grandma house. Uh-huh. We used to always play, but I never really liked sports. Yeah. So I used to just play kill to carry, you know what I'm saying? And we used to play on the road, play on the sidewalk and everything. And one day my dad pulled up like while uh-huh. we was playing and was like, uh, shoot, then you got all these bruises on you, man. You can play real football. So then yeah. he told me to play flag football first. So when I was three years old, I played flag football. Yeah. So I mean, so like four we played flag at three? Yeah, three. Played they got flag, flag at three? Yeah. It was, it was right at it was at a park in my city. We was okay. all a whole bunch of little kids, teams and stuff. Yeah, that's and, why you're so fast in Florida. Y'all start. <laughs> yeah. And so then 
I only used to score like three or four times. And then when I turned four, I played padded football. So mm-hmm. the way it working for Pop Warner or whatever is like five, six, seven, is, and eight, I think, is all together. Okay. So I was four years old and I played with the five, six, seven, and eight or whatever. So I was playing that and I played D line. I didn't play no skill position. I played D line and I yeah. skills stuff on the D line. So since I was young and everybody, they really couldn't put me at no skill position because they was faster and all that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So then when I turned like four or five, shoot, I started training, doing push ups and stuff. And then since then, I was just a man of everything. I used to play D line, linebacker, receiver. D line. Yeah, I played D line. Yeah, and, that, and that's how I beat though. A lot of a lot of skill players coming up. For some reason, yeah. they played D line. You know, yeah, I played D line in Pop Warner for like my first two years, and after that, I went to running back, receiver. What a lot of people don't know is I'm really a running back. Yeah, I yeah. Receiver. I play receiver because I don't want to get banged up. Yeah, yeah. That that, that explains the moves, the explosion, all because when you catch a screen or something like that, it's pretty much touchdown, bro. I've seen. Yeah, you don't I, even. I feel, like, I feel like when I go to running back because I because at IMG I also play running back as well. Yeah. So when I when I go to running back, I feel like it's easier as well. So then when we run run plays, I got vision for a running back. And yeah. then teams are going to be so scared that they're going to think it's a pass out of me coming, like, kind of like Justin Jefferson, you know what I'm saying? They're going to be scared that, like, I'm running an option right out the backfield or something. Yeah. You know, just get the ball and just run it like a regular running back. So it's like, it, it, it be both Samuel type stuff, you know? Yeah, bro. And that's exactly – okay, so when I was at OT7, when I was broadcasting, they gave me a packet. And then literally they had – they would have the player – and who the NFL player like in the league that reminds them of them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yo shit literally said Debo Samuel. They put Debo Samuel in there. They was like Winston Walker is, is like the next Debo Samuel. But you remind me of Debo. You remind me of uh, you got some Percy Harvin. You know Percy Harvin, of course. Oh yeah, Percy Harvin, that man. Percy Harvin was different, bro. He yeah, was he different. Was different. But uh different. I guess frame-wise, you remind me of a, 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 a Debo, but uh I feel like you're going to be a mixture of Debo, Percy, and DeAnthony Thomas. I feel like a mixture of those because you got the quick twitch like DeAnthony, but then you got that that just <clears throat> like oh, Debo. That's the goal, you know what I'm saying? All them boys, the goats. Y'all already know yeah. about them. You got DeAnthony Thomas highlight. Everybody know about those. He was nasty. Mm-hmm. Nasty. Yeah. All right. So we're going to go back to Colorado in a little bit, but first we're going to get into some fun questions real quick. All right? What up? Five favorite artists you bumping right now? Dude, my five favorite artists are always the same. It's gonna probably be Young Boy. Oh Lord! Oh no! Yeah, he out there. I got fucks and five stocks and nines in this bitch. I got cutters and a hoe. I got pounds. <laughs> so boy, that's one thing though, for sure. When I get famous, I gotta, I gotta meet him. I need to meet Young Boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So one Young Boy, okay. two probably Little Baby, of course. Them two okay. is always gonna be, you know what I'm saying? Little Baby, baby he out there right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. I say number three, probably a rapper from Miami called Lil Shimmy. I mean, little Shimmy. Like, yeah, little Shimmy. His name Little Shimmy. He hard? Yeah, he hard. You and gotta then, put me on but, some songs then. Little Shimmy. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, Lil Shimmy. He he a chill rapper, you know what I'm saying? We just chilling or like riding on the bus or in the okay. car or something. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh number four, I'll probably say another one from down there, FC Neem. I listen to him a lot too. Okay. He, I, he, I don't know who like that is. Same, they they like it like the same little group or whatever. All right. And then number five, true. This one tough because I got a few. Uh, number five, I'll probably say it's either out of Lil Tecca. Lil Tecca. He, <laughs> he always to drop music, though. He used to drop music a lot, and now he don't drop music. I go out. Ransom went hard. Uh, yeah. I get a pack. Oh, yeah, he got that one song. Uh, oh, Lord. You, dang, you know I'll be counting the racks. That, you that, know I'll be getting it back. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And that diva. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Yeah, that diva. Hey. yeah. Him, him, and uh, uh, what, what's the white dude name? The kid Leroy. Kid Leroy. He said that little bitch a diva. Hey, yeah. fucking diva. Hey, that was hard. <laughs> now nah, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie. I was bumping that thing so much, bro. Yeah, so much. Yeah. Okay. Sure. All right, that's your five. Okay, so you, so before the games, you like to get hype. You like oh, yeah, listen to yeah. that to that list stuff. Oh yeah. Mostly young boy, I'm sure before the game. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah, yeah. All that let me know what type of player you are, bro. Because a lot of players, I wouldn't say these days, but just players in general, like I don't know, they try to come into the game with this chill, passive attitude, like, oh, y'all finna get the game. You gotta be ready to fuck that yeah, nigga up. Ready. You, you gotta, gotta send a message. You gotta send a message, bro. That's what they're trying to tell mm-hmm. players, bro. Like, okay, I know in the South it's like that, but sometimes out here in California, people more laid yeah, back. So I would be telling them to look too cute. I'll be trying to look too cute over there. Sometimes. So when I go to camps out here, I'm I, the players, they I'll be trying to get them like turned up sometimes at the rivals camps and they just kind of be laid back. I'm like, you you out here to, to fuck people up. Okay, one yeah. dude was I remember one kid was like, uh, oh yeah, man, that's my friend over there. I said, Ain't no friends out here right now, bro. Oh man. He didn't want to go against his friend. I said, Y'all ain't friends right now. Y'all at a rivals yeah. camp trying to get to a ranking up. Ain't yeah, no friends right now. Ain't no friends. 
ain't no friends on that field. Well, if you on the opposite side of the ball, it ain't no friends. Ain't no friends, bro. If friends, y'all could be, once... cool. be cool after, but right then you you got to know what's up. Y'all got to get the business. You got to establish the ranking right then and there. I like that. Yeah. All right, next question. Here we go. On game day, what is your game day routine? What do you got to do before the game to have a good game? Well, got to do. You I got to do. Soup. For away games and home games, I always got to bring my game because it like it keep my mind straight. I don't be like worried about the game, so I probably okay. say I gotta play FIFA, I gotta play Madden. Play FIFA, FIFA. You know what I'm yeah, I gotta play FIFA and Madden. Soccer okay. is my favorite sport. Soccer really? Sport. Yeah. Soccer. Over football? Yeah, I played it my whole life. Oh, that explained the footwork then. Yeah, uh, I, I played I, I play I, soccer all the way until my ninth grade year. In middle school, I played it and all. Okay. So I'll probably say soccer, FIFA. It really keeps my mind straight. So because yeah. it's, it's not football, so I don't gotta worry about like you know what I'm saying. Football catching the ball in his feet. Yeah. So, you know, so, yeah. yeah. Bro, that explains a lot then, bro. Because when I was at OT7, like, okay, you know, when people breaking their routes, this is what I noticed. The main thing I noticed about your OT7, that out route. A lot. How many yeah, times did you, how many times did you run the same out route? So, you know, the thing is, Cam knows his personnel real well. That's why I, I like Cam a lot. Cam yeah. even knows who he has and what to mm -hmm. do with him. Like, Honeycomb, yeah. he was going crazy because he know Honeycomb is a nice, smooth route runner. You yeah. know what I'm saying? He unguardable with him. And yeah. you know me on the other side, I'm unguardable. So it's like it's not much you can do when yeah. you got those two people on your outside. Bro, you ran that out route like three times in a row. I said, yo, they just can't stop it, bro. Yeah. He's running the same, catching mm -hmm. it. TD. It's, either, it's TD. either that out route or it's that spray curl. Yeah, yeah. But, but back to what I was saying, though, a lot of receivers, they're, they're taught to do the one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four breakdown. But you was just literally one step in it, like Jerry Judy. So yeah, that, I when I see somebody that. one step, they footwork. I know they got footwork. So now as you say you play soccer, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So if you didn't play football, you'd be playing soccer full time, probably? Yeah, I used to play soccer like all the time. That was my yeah. favorite sport. And then I, I played football because I was just good at it. And it's yeah. really easy to make it in football and soccer. That is true. I ain't gonna lie. That is true. Yeah. Who your favorite soccer player? America. Uh, Messi. I got my shoot. I got a jersey in my uh, closet right now. Number ten. Cap. When I was a little kid, when I was five years old, I, I wore number ten. I swear to God. You got kid, it. Right? Let yeah. me see. Let me see. Right. <laughs> Let me see if you're a real soccer fan, bro. Look, this, this <laughs> is my uh, when I was a little kid. Hold on. He got the Messi on deck. He not lying. He a real soccer fan, bro. Look, this was this when I was a kid. This is my jersey. This is the same jersey is messed up and all. Oh yeah, you a soccer fan for real, bro. Yeah, this this is when I, this is my uh I think seven U jersey. Dang. I, Messi. I used to yeah. watch Messi highlights every day in school. Yeah, bro, that's that's fat, bro. You can shake somebody with a soccer ball when you ain't got that in front of you. It's easy, bro. Yeah, shoot, I used to just kick it super far and just run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel that. All right, man. Next question. Well, I guess we kind of talked about this. Two questions yeah. then. Who do you model your game after? Like coming up, who are you like? Okay, I want to play like that guy. You know what I'm saying? Dude, it's a few really right now. Okay. The NFL got so many receivers right now. It's really hard to like narrow it down. They got way more receivers than DBs. Yeah. Way so more. I'll probably say Justin Jefferson definitely won. Okay. The Devontae Adams definitely won. When I say Devontae Adams, I don't mean like play like him. I mean like know the game like him. He knows the game very well. Yeah. And you can tell by how he plays. He don't play at no super fast pace, but he knows what he's doing and he knows what he's gonna do. Yeah. So definitely him. Uh Keenan Allen as well. Mm. Keenan been uh, next. Yeah, Keenan Keenan Allen is super underrated. Yeah, he been next. And then, and then, if I would say like play, if I wanted to play like somebody as like modeling my game, I'll probably say Debo most definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Debo got that mentality of like you can't, you can't f with me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, bro. So he got that mentality like you, you, you ain't gonna be able to beat him. He play running back, he play receiver. You know what I'm saying? He got a nice built, built frame. You know? Yeah. And I, and I play running back and receiver, so I'll probably say Debo. Where, where's Debo from? Uh, Florida. I, I, I'm not really sure where he's from. I don't know. I think Florida, because he went to Florida State, right? No, nah, he went to South Carolina. I'm tripping. He did go to, yeah, South, he went Carolina. to South Carolina. But yeah, yeah, I got something connected with Debo very soon. I'm talking talking to somebody right now. We're going to do a workout this summer, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, bro. Because, because yeah, right. yeah, you like what? What are you like? 5'10? I'm 5'10. Yeah, I'm 5'10. One what? You going yeah, you could you could easily be like two hundred. I think you're gonna play good around one ninety five though. When it's all when it's all said and done, bro. But yeah, you and Debo get that workout in, man. Film that stuff, bro. I mean, really, really, when it comes to high school athletes, bro, you like the next one. You, I'm gonna tell you the one, ones that really standing out to me. You, Bryce Underwood. You know Bryce, right? Yeah, that's my boy. Yeah, yeah. A A, -A, -A, -A coming soon. You gonna be yeah. Oh, oh, hey, shit, shit, hey. 
We can't tell him that yet. Can't tell him that. Oh, that would be nasty though. I didn't even think about that. Oh, matter of fact, he coming soon this summer with we'll CONN. Just watch. Oh man. I'm finna get, I'm finna get him. Just watch. All right. Well, you know, hey, you know, y'all gotta play us though. A lot. B A J and Tyreek now. A lot. Shoot. <laughs> I might, I might come through with y'all for one or two. You know? For sure, for sure, for sure. All right, bro. Something about yourself that nobody would guess. Uh, something about myself. You oh, watch I'm Pokemon. I'm a, well, what is it? Oh, I'm, I'm, I like to play a lot. Like, if you know me, if you get to know me real well, or like, yeah. we cool. Yeah. I'll, I got ADHD. I like to have fun. So you know. Wait, wait, hold on. <laughs> a lot. So you be like you random. You got ADHD. You just random. Yeah, I got, like that's random. why I feel like it helps me my football too. ADHD helps me not get tired. Yeah, I swear. yeah, yeah. So, so you like, a fun yeah, player? Like when you out there, you just having fun. I'm just having fun, really. Yeah, yeah. I don't never. I never take a game serious. My lock in. When people say lock in for the game, is not locking in. Yeah. My lock in is oh yeah, we finna go play. Let's go. We yeah. ready? Baby. Come on. Yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go do. I'm gonna do them bad. I can't wait. Like yeah. that's my lock in. My lock in ain't no like serious face or I'm ready. None of that. Mine's just gonna have some fun. I don't like being around dudes like that, bro. Because sometimes you can lock in too much. You can be yeah, too that, serious. Some dudes, some dudes get locked in too much to the fact where he don't understand that it's a game. Yeah. Me, yeah. me, I I can lock in, yes, and be focused and be like, bro, competitive. Because I'm a competitive person, so I know I'm gonna have that. But I'm gonna still have fun with it. So like. I'm going to have that goofy side while I'm playing. So that's why it's going to help me get my moves right. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. you cutting serious and stuff, you're not going to be doing nothing crazy. You're going to be trying to you gotta be lo- You got to be loose with it out. You yeah, got to feel good. Just let it happen. Out. You know what I'm saying? When you score a touchdown, you, you just letting it happen, you know? Yeah, yeah. Facts, bro. Yeah. Bro, hey, bro, I like your attitude about stuff, bro. Obviously, I know you, bro. But just being on here, bro, I'm, lear- I'm learning more about you. You know what I'm saying? Hey, and that's, appreciate that's a good attitude to have, bro. Dion, Buffalo's, they're lucky to have you. Everybody watching this, man. Hey, go ahead and shout out your socials real quick, man, so they can follow you. Follow me on my Instagram. It's my name, Winston Watkins Jr. Yeah. My TikTok, She Love Winnie. My okay. Twitter, my name, Winston Watkins underscore. <laughs> she Love Winnie? <laughs> yeah, She Love Winnie. You know what I'm saying? Bro, you funny on accident, bro. You should like TikTok, She Love you know what Winnie. Mean? What you be doing on TikTok, man? Shoot, I just be doing anything. I be posting my football stuff. I be posting the dance and all types yeah. of stuff. I just be chilling. Okay. Oh, you got the move? Just having fun, you know what I'm saying? Just, yeah, yeah. Just got to live life a little bit. You know got it, bro. Yeah, I'm trying to tell people that, bro. You can't, like, if you taking life, it's good to take life serious. You work hard. That's the serious part, working hard. Yep. But you got to take serious everything. Part, the, serious part, the serious part about what I got to go through mm-hmm. is the business-wise with, you know what I'm saying, talking to the older people mature. Yeah. And I would say locking in when it's time to lock in for, like, working out with stuff that that really is important to my to my benefits, you know what I'm saying, like talking to certain people, things like that. But yeah. besides that, you're supposed to have fun and, like, and you gotta make smart choices. I'm not a regular person. I'm not trying to say it as no copy league, but I'm not no regular teenager. You're not. So I, can't do, so I can't do the same thing as this person would do or this person would do. So I just gotta, you know what I'm saying? Sacrifice. IMG is a sacrifice. I, I'm yeah. not at home with my family. I'm not in a regular high school having fun, doing whatever I want. I gotta yeah. take a sacrifice and be here. But I wanna be great though. If I wanna go to the NFL, this is another sacrifice. I've been I had many times when I was here where I wanted to go back home, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sacrifice. You know it's back home, man. That that much, that much. People just doing the same thing. But for you to have that figured out at fifteen, bro, that's actually like people don't figure that stuff out to like twenty, bro. Dude, I, gotta get, I gotta get, I gotta get, I gotta get circle around me, bro. You know what I'm saying? My yeah. dad is a very great dad. My dad taught me a lot of things growing up. Taught me morals. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, just, I got really, people, I got great people around me. Shout out my trainer hey, again. Okay. You know what he, he What's really, your trainer name? What's your, your trainer really, name? Really, huh? What's your trainer name? Edward Gant. He played in the NFL for uh, Carlos and Tampa Bay Bucks. He okay. got me to where I where I'm at now. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. When I was when back then, I was super good, but technique wise, I wasn't the best. Yeah. But now I know how to, you know, what I'm saying get right because Coach Gant, Coach Gant blessed me. That quarantine year was like my God saying year. You know what I'm saying? I grew yeah. that year. I got bigger that year. I learned so much from him that year, and you know, what I'm saying everything just went from there. Then yeah. Grade year. If if I never if I if that quarantine year never happened, I would have never played eighth grade high school to get the IMG. Yeah, yeah. Because so you gotta you, you gotta like you gotta like try out for IMG kind of. Nah, they they recruit you, so they'll hit you up and be like, "Do you want to come?" Mm. And and they seen my eighth grade film and was like, "Oh yeah, this eighth grade like that." So they wanted me to come as a ninth grader. So yeah. At first, I was like, "I don't know," and then I came in on the visit and my student. Yeah, bro. Cause like, man, y'all, y'all, like I said, y'all ahead of the game, bro. And you, you making that sacrifice of like partying, not being out there drinking, yeah. doing stupid shit, but it's gonna pay off because look, when you 21, 22, you already know what time it is. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Exactly. And the thing is too, 
as a kid, yeah, I'm still I still could be be a kid because I'm still a kid, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But this right here is gonna prepare me for later on in life. Later on in life, would you rather be have fun as a kid and be like have a horrible rest of your life? Yeah. Or be be locked in, have fun a little bit just at certain times. And yeah. Be, be, the right be, the like, right fun. The fun ain't yeah, gonna you get you saying, caught right up. Fun, exactly. Not not all that other stuff for you know what I'm saying, doing dumb stuff. Yeah. And, you feel me? And then later on in life, I'm just gonna be blessed. God really blessed me for you know what I'm saying. That's why I appreciate him. Yeah. Every day. Hey, bro, you deserve exactly what's coming to you. Hey, 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 let's clap. Like, we, like people up in here for Winston real quick. Yo, hey. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, yeah, bro. Sir. Glad to have you on here, Winston, for real, bro. Honestly, man, like, I knew you was athletic. We done chopped it up a bunch of times. But did I know your, your mind was like that? Did not. I, for real, I'm being real, bro. I didn't know because, like you said, you're a fun dude. When we be talking, we just be having fun and stuff. But now I'm like, yeah. you really, you really on point, bro. Like kids sure. ain't like sure. I, I got, I got, I got some some former homies that ain't even on that like you. You know what I'm saying? I gotta so, praise the people that really, you know what I'm saying. My mom gotta praise them. They they taught me it right away. And I'm yeah. just gonna keep, keep learning every day. I had to learn a lot of things. Yeah, they'll make mistakes though. I definitely make mistakes. You human. That's gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, man. Look, we gonna get up out of here. I know today your day. You just committed, bro. I'm holding you up, huh? Nah, man. <laughs> Nah. You, my boy. Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. You know, we're gonna do more of these, bro. But man, congrats to you. Hey, Prime. I know if you're watching this, man, you're doing your thing. Y'all, y'all finna go crazy. You know, I'm gonna be there. You know, I might do a couple more impressions. Oh, How you doing? What's up, man? <laughs> what up, Bucky? How you doing? What's up, man? What's up? <laughs> we, got, we got Coach Prime up in here. Coach Prime and Coach Prime. Yeah, Coach Prime yeah. time and Coach Prime. That's right. Yes, sir. We both got the blame blanket over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, That's how we recruit. We gotta be icy That's over here. That's though. how we recruit. That's how we recruit. Yeah. Listen, right. If you a player, mm -hmm. huh? you need to come over to Jackson State. Jackson, yeah. Right? Cause we great, baby. That's what we. That's do. what we do. That's what we we do. gonna put food on the plate. Uh -huh. huh? We gonna take the women on the date. Now. No, 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 no. <laughs> you doing your thing, bro. Proud of you, bro. You finna, you finna definitely keep shining, man. Let me know if you need anything. I'm only a call away. Yes, yeah, sir, for sure. I mean, with that being said, bad boy. Ow. Pussy nigga posted said he was drippin'. Shot that nigga now he really be drippin'. Pussy nigga posted said he was drippin'. Shot that nigga now he really be drippin'. Pussy nigga posted said he was drippin'. Shot that nigga now he really be drippin'. Pussy nigga posted said he was drippin'. Shot that nigga now he really be drippin'. All my niggas posted then we be chillin'.